Hello everyone, today we're looking at some of my comic collections and after the Boys Season 4 came out a while ago, which I just watched, I thought I'd show my complete collection of the Boys comics, which is um, it's one of my favourite series because it's done by Garth Ennis, he's my, probably my favourite comic writer of all time and he done uh, the Preacher TV series if you know that. And the Preacher TV series is my is my favorite. The Preacher comic series is my favorite comic series of all time. And he also done Hitman, which is by DC, which is also one of my favorites. And I hope they make that into a, a TV show because I think they could do a really good job of that. <coughs> and he's done a few one shots as well. He did um, the Pro, which is really good. I think they're I think they're going to be adapting that, which I've heard rumors. And he also did. My favourite run of the Punisher series, which um, it was in fact so good, his series of the Punisher, that it probably ruined the Punisher for me because I didn't think they could make anything as good as that again. So anyway, here's the boys. And if, I've, if I'm correct, this is the complete run of the boys with all spin-offs, miniseries and everything. So it, it was released by DC Wildstorm, which is... Uh, Wildstorm Comics, which was under DC, and um, it came out in 2006. And uh, there we go. And if you didn't know, there's Huey there, and he was played, he was meant to be in the comic version, that was meant to be Simon Pegg. But the time they got round to the TV series, I think he was a bit too old, so they got Simon Pegg to play the the dad of Huey instead of, which worked out quite well. And the TV series, I've, I've sort of, I really enjoyed it first of all, and it's sort of gone a bit downhill as the seasons have gone on. I'm just about halfway through season four, and it's it's very different from the comic series. And um, I'm not, I like it, but I don't like it. There's bits in it I, I think I find funny, but it's sort of really deviated from the the uh, comic series. So you've got. Uh, the Butcher there, who's played by Carl Urban, he's really good in the TV series. He's actually probably the best character, I think. They've kept him quite similar to what he is. He's, he's a complete bastard in the comic. And you've got Frenchie. He's a little bit different because um, he's a bit of a... He can track things in, in the comic, if I remember correctly. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, he's, they've made him a bit different in season four got mother's milk who's quite different in this because his powers rely on him breastfeeding off his mum so uh that's why he's called mother's milk because he drinks mother's milk you've got the japanese lady i can't remember her name now she doesn't talk at all in the in the comic and she doesn't do sign language or nothing she's just she's probably the the nastiest piece of work out of all of them she's really um She's what they use for backup if um, the situation's gone bad. But in the comic version, they've all got powers, so they're all they're all um, got super strength, and that's about it really. And they can heal quickly. But Huey gets his powers later on, so it's a bit different comic series. In the series, they don't they don't all have powers apart from apart from the the lady. So this is number one, and. Uh, yeah, I remember buying this when it first came out. It's quite good. And there's number two. Sorry about the glare, but that's the best shot I can get of it. Uh, number three has the um, the lamplighter. They're a bit different there. There's Homelander. Uh, number four is where Huey gets given his power so he becomes like the rest of the boys and it definitely looks like Simon Pegg there number five yeah number five it's got the number up there it's not done like normal and then number six is the famous hamster gerbil scene where he is um he is used for felching I can't remember if they do it in the TV series but um one of the superheroes basically when he fights he sticks it up his ass and he likes it up his bum when he's in battle so 
after they kill Huey kills him by mistake he takes the the gerbil into his care right, we gave it a good washing as well it's not covered in no, not covered in shit now after this number seven um dc wildstorm said they weren't going to uh, release the comic anymore because it was too extreme which is amazing so it went over to dynamite comics <coughs> So it started with number seven. Yeah, DC had had enough by that point. Apparently, there's a new, there's a new Garth Ennis comic out now, and it's meant to be the most extreme comic he's ever done. I'm not sure what it is. I've been trying to get hold of a copy of it, but I don't get previews magazine anymore. So if anyone knows what it is, leave a comment below, and I'm gonna check it out because I've heard it's it's meant to be really disgusting, and I like my comics like that. If you want the most disgusting comic by Garth Ennis, I think it's probably the most extreme comic I've ever read. It's called Crossed, and that comic is is sort of a zombie infection comic. And yeah, a lot of people can't read it, but it had it had good points at the beginning. It went a bit rubbish, and it sort of went a bit downhill at the end. But it's got loads of extreme characters in it. It's got, there's a guy in it called Horsecock who uses a dead horse's cock as a weapon so yeah i don't know if they'll ever do a tv series of that because that is um yeah i think there'd be a lot of complaints for that so number seven this is the uh the guy that runs the comic book store has not been in the comic in the tv series yet but he's something to do with the with the team and he writes about all the adventures and puts them in their equivalent of the comics in in that tv series <coughs> in the comic series. Oh, excuse me. Oh, number eight. And I was just telling my wife about this one. This is the um, the equivalent of Iron Man in the boys, and he's got a sidekick. And what he does, he um, they're flying into battle. We'll try and do the motion. So that's the the guy, and that's the boy, and he presses a button on his backpack which makes the sidekick's bum panel come off so when he's flying he zooms down and bums the sidekick in the air and i don't think they'll be doing that in the tv series anytime soon even though it's quite gross number nine and they go and meet him i can't remember half the names of these people now in the series number 11 is when they go to russia and i think and there's a superhero, ex-superhero, who he's super strong and he's got a giant dick. That's all about him. <laughs> and that's number 12. I think that's where uh, Frenchie uses his tracking abilities, if I'm correct. I can't remember now. There might be some spoilers at the end of this comic series here, so it might not work the same as the TV series, but when it gets towards the end, maybe. Don't watch that bit if you don't want to know what happens. Um, and there's uh, Butcher's Dog there, which is um, featured in the TV series. <coughs> He's in the comic more often, though. And a weird fact about the, the TV series, the Butcher's mum is played by a lady who was in Downton Abbey, in Downton Abbey and she was married to somebody I knew for a... A good few years and he used to talk about her being in tv and films and it's really strange that um to see her in in downtown abbey in this tv show uh her last name was david and he he died a couple of years ago i remember it being on the internet but yeah that's a shame because um yeah i knew him for a long time the guy so anyway number 14 of butcher uh 15 is starlight and it's a lot more graphic in the comic what they do to uh do to are they instead of one person having sex or in the in the tv series in the comic the the whole team i think the whole team gangbanger so yeah it's uh it's a bit more extreme so if you like your stuff more extreme definitely read the comic and you can read all these online somewhere. There's some free websites where you can read all the boys. I'm not sure which order the miniseries come in. They go in between some of these. So 
you have to find out the region order. So that's when Huey gets from Starlight. There's the guy come back from the dead with his gerbil. Stick back up his bum on. That's the um what's it called the seven or something in the in the series where they're the main villains. They're a bit different than the um the comic. And that's I remember this early on in the series, this character. Uh twenty one. This is in the T V series where they killed the whole uh plane load of people. I've got 22 23 24 is a homage to uh, is it road road trip roadhouse roadhouse animal house animal house the film so that's a it's a homage to animal house <coughs> 25 and 26 there's a lot of different characters and teams in this series. Uh, 27. And 28 with Huey beating the shit out of him. 29. Some of these covers are just generic covers, but I thought I'd show them off. 30. That's uh, Butcher's Dog. 31. 32, Butcher's Dog again. He's really cool. 33, that's Soldier Boy, I think, from the series. He's pissed himself. 34, good old German swat sticker there. Uh, 35, you see the origin of Mother's Milk and why he has to suck her boobs. 36, so I can't remember about that. 37 is Frenchy, dressed up like a Frenchman. 38 is a homage to Alien, I think. And back with the second pile, that's 39. 40, um, in the TV series, instead of... Um, having a baby with uh, Butcher's girlfriend. Um, spoilers here. He goes to Butcher's house. When Butcher's not there, he uh, rapes his girlfriend and then he pulls the baby out and eats the baby and kills her. So, yeah, definitely a lot more graphic in the, in the comic. I don't think they'd be putting that in the TV series either. Number 41, 42, I don't know what she's been doing, 43, 44, 45, so she's definitely different in this comic series, 46, I can't remember her name now, I've forgotten all the names of them, I know she's just died in the TV series. 47, 48 is a homage to Dark Knight Returns. 49 and 50. 51 52 Soldier Boy, that's a scroll outside my window. 53, 54, I'll have to reread this series because I, I cannot remember much about it. 55, 56 is two green monkeys. Can't remember what happens there, that was, I think it'd be funny. 57, I think somebody's been having an affair. 58, 59 with the dog, and 60, big fucking bear, 61, I think it's coming to an end now, 62, 
63, 64, 65, 66, 67, no 66. Oh, I've got two of 66. Why well, have I got two of 66? No, I think they actually they made a mistake. I think that's 67. I think they did a printing mistake on that. I have to correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, it's got two 66s. So I think that's 67, 68, 69 in the, in the comic series, Frenchie sort of, and, and her sort of become a couple, but they don't, nothing physical. They sort of just love each other in this. And 70, 71, and number 72 is the, the last issue of the main series. And don't expect a happy ending in the comic because it is uh, definitely not a happy ending. I'm not sure if they're going to do it in the in the TV series, but yeah, it's a not very nice ending at the end of it. <laughs> and then you've got the spin-off series, uh, Butcher, Baker, Candlestick Maker. If I'm correct, I think... I think this is my favourite uh, storyline of the of the boys. It was really good. It's very sort of Punisher, Hitman. So yeah, I think it's a um, an origin of uh, yeah, it's an origin of um, the butcher. So I think that's him in the Falklands. So number two, number three, and number four. Oh, number five as well. Number six. So I love Garth Ennis's stuff. I absolutely couldn't stand Garth Ennis and I couldn't stand Steve Dillon either. I remember seeing Preacher number one, trying to read it, and I thought this artwork's just, it was too strange for me. It was too adult. And it was really weird because it ended up being my favourite TV series and Steve Dillon, who died years ago which absolutely sucked he's one of my favorite comic artists of all time now steve dylan um no one can draw the punisher like steve dylan he draws broken noses really well i think on the punisher yeah i really miss his um steve dylan's artwork such a shame and then we've got uh highland laddie which is a mini series i cannot remember this at all there we go number two I think it's set in between actually, if I remember correctly. Number three, number four, number five, number six. Then we've got Hero Gasm, which is, um, I know everybody loves this. In this series, it's set in a big, I think it's in a big house, but in this, they go away for a week on an island and they basically just have sex with each other and fuck everything that moves really and yeah what, what goes on the island stays on the island and i think the boys have to go in there and undercover a bit like the series number two snorting his nose candy number three number four number five and the last series if you don't want to know the end of the tv series don't watch this bit or the comic because you find out who dies so that's number five and number six and then this is a series that was based after the boys main series it's a sort of a prelude dear becky it wasn't that brilliant if i remember correctly number one number two Two. Number three. Actually, it doesn't give away who's um who died. That's good. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Oh, there's another one, and there's a number eight as well. There's number eight. 
So that's it. That's a complete look at the boys' comic series with all the mini series and specials, whatever you put in. Um, I bought most of them. I thought I got the first run, the first 20 or 30, and then I sold some and then got the back issue again. But I kept number one. But yeah, I'd have bought all these off of um, eBay, mostly individually. But um, yeah, it's a good series. It takes a little bit to read, but um, it's about, what, 70, 80 comics there. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And um, let me know down below what your favourite comic series are of all time. I've got Preacher on mine. And then I've got Hitman, and then um, I'll probably get into the Marvel after that. It's probably oh Punisher, Punisher was one of in my top series, and then probably get into Marvel and DC after that. So yeah, let me know what um, your favourite comics are, and if you're buying any golf any stuff at the moment, because I don't know what he's putting out. And I will see you soon for another video.